Hey gamers, Joel here, or whatever the fuck my name is. Uh, so, my neighbors are making a goddamn TikTok, but I am way too lazy to not record, so I'm gonna do that now. Anyways, welcome to my fucking tier list ranking, where I rank my, or the, some of the parodies I've made so far, or most of them. Uh, so this was made before I made the, um, the Dare Depression parody, so that's on, on here. Uh, cause believe it or not, this video was supposed to be recorded and edited and uploaded like a week or two ago, but I never got around to doing it, and I just remembered that I did this, and I found the tier list, uh, and I'm gonna put this into the, the fucking description, so if you wanna make your own tier list of what you think, or of what parodies you think are worthy, that's cool, uh, send me to them on Twitter or Discord or wherever the fuck. Alright, uh, let's just begin. So, Elias the Anime theme song. So, if you don't remember, uh, Elias the Anime was this thing my friend Andrew made, and it was, uh, it was a parody of its own, and it was, uh, it was during the whole gotcha shit, and it was me, like, uh, killing or destroying the, the gotcha tubers I ran it on, like, Oliver, and I think Jellobug was there, and even, uh, one of my old friends. And then I decided, fuck it, I'm going to make a theme song for it, which was a revenge of Captain Sparkle's uh, revenge. And honestly, I don't, I didn't really remember ever making this one until my friend Josh from my school uh, kind of reminded me that I should make like a full theme song. And I'm like, no, <laughs> I'm not doing that. The whole I see anime thing, which I mean, maybe one day I'll, me and my, uh, me and my friend Andrew will do something uh, with it, but uh, yeah, it was, it was kind of funny, but I, then I made the theme song, and honestly, I, I fucked up on the lyrics, it was supposed to be my penis swinging from side to side or something, but then I messed up, uh, while recording, and I never noticed it, but because the meme was popular at the time, I'm gonna give it a B, and it, it to be fair, it's only like 30 seconds too, but that's because, I mean, most theme songs in most shows, this was before I was a weeb, and... Uh, this was before I watched anime, because although that it was called Elias the Anime, I hadn't watched anime yet. Uh, now I'm a fucking weeb, and my mom bullies me for it. <laughs> but Elias the Anime uh, theme song, it's gonna get a B. That one, ah, shit, I don't remember that one. These are so fucking vague, because it's just the shirt that I have to go off of. And yeah, I should have labeled these better. Okay, it's congratulations, K-Camp. Uh, well... I don't really know where to put this. This is like, that was my second diss track on the guy. So what's funny about uh, my older, uh, which was, what's funny about my older parodies, which was just the PewDiePie's uh, Congratulations and Bitch Lasagna. What's funny about these is I didn't know what Band Labs was. Because if you don't know, um, I make my song parodies using Band Labs, which is this free audio mixing service, which I used for the, um, the, the Instead I Wanna Feel Good video, which was that one fucking TikTok song in Feel Good Inc. by Gorillaz. Uh, that's how I made it, too. But every parody, uh, I don't remember when it started, or when I started to use it, but, uh, it's funny because I think it was after Dear Future Gamer, I used this, uh, service that was, it was like a free trial, too, so... I didn't use Band Labs for Dear Future Gamer, but I think everything after that, I think everything after Old Clown Road, I started using um, Band Labs. But congratulations, KCAM, because the audio literally just came from my computer, I set my phone onto my fucking computer, and then that's how I did it. Uh, because the audio is shit, and I remember stumbling on the lyrics, and I, uh, uh, I'll give it a C. What the fuck? Oh, that's Cringe Lasagna from the that's the gotcha life community i really like this one for no reason whatsoever it's just there's something about cringe lasagna that i just enjoy and i don't know what it is so it's gonna get a fucking b for me i don't really remember ever making this one i just remember doing it i don't remember like any thought process i don't even remember writing the lyrics Congratulations, Oliver. So I'm gonna, so I'm not gonna go off the remake which I did. I'm gonna go off the original one. Uh, so I remember getting my friend Ellie to do this with me. Uh, Ellie just had like like five words, which was, and that is, and that is totally correct. I tried counting the words, and that is totally correct. And I was like, oh shit, because I don't know. I think I just like uh, DM'd my group chat saying, hey, anyone want to speak some words for me for this shitty diss track I'm doing? And I said, yeah, fuck it, sure. Uh, so that's funny. I. 
don't know if I still have that recording. I probably do in my phone somewhere. But this one was really fun to do. Uh, especially because... Uh, another problem was these I ran out of breath so fast. Because I was dancing to the whole thing, too. But, uh, to congratulations, Oliver. Uh, honestly, I really like this one. Uh, it was probably... I think this was my first ever diss track, uh, to a gotcha tube or two. So, I think I'll get points for that. So, I'm gonna put this at an A. J Future Gamer, I, we all know where this is going. This is going to S. Uh, which is kind of obvious. I, I say after... I say that... A lot of people may think that the Jellobug rant was when my channel peaked. I say it was when Dear Future Gamer was released. I say that's when my channel truly peaked. Dear Future Gamer was this thing I thought of when I was on the road. Uh, I don't remember where we were going, but I was just on the road. And I just was listening to Dear Future Husband by Megan Trainer, And I was like, I can, I can do something with this. And then here came Dear Future Gamer, which is probably... It, while it's definitely not, it's not my most popular video by a long shot. It's probably what uh, a lot of my, like, older fans know me of more than the Jello Bug video. At least I hope. On to Feel Gamer Inc. So what's... Feel Gamer Inc., honestly, I'm not that big of a fan of the song. F despite Feel Good Inc. being my second favorite song of... The fuck? These motherfuckers really ding dong. No, you motherfuckers. Who's ding dong ditching me? I fucking hate little kids. The fuck was that? I fucking hate kids, dude. I don't care if I'm one. I fucking hate kids. Okay, back to Field Gamer Inc. <laughs> oh, god fucking damn it. This fucking thing came off again. Did it rip? Shit. But Feel Gamer Inc. So what's weird about Feel Gamer Inc. Because I didn't know, I didn't have like an image on my phone. Because most of these fucking parodies, uh, I just have like this image on my phone. And I'm like, sure, I'll go with it. Uh, like, Gamer Guy, which I'll rank next. Like, that was just some random image I had on my phone. So I'm like, fucking, I don't really put any time into these fucking parodies. I They take like an hour maximum. <laughs> It, despite me never making an album, I've really only made an EP on Spotify. And I will hopefully add more things to Spotify one day, uh, but who knows when that'll be. Alright, back to G F Field Gamer Inc. So Field Gamer Inc. was weird, because, I, like I said, I didn't have anything to use it. So I went, fuck it, let's go back to what I used to do. But except what I did is I recorded the song in Band Labs. Then what I did is... I s just kind of lip-synced over it, and then I put the video, and then I you know, lip synced, and then that's what I did, but I don't really like the song, and as I said before, Feel Good Inc. is my second favorite song of all time, but I did not like this parody, it's, I don't know, especially the rap, I fucked up on the rap, and I really feel like I should have done a separate recording for this, but I didn't, so I'm gonna give it a C, uh, but hopefully in the future I'll do a remake of this, <sighs> Gamer Guy, Gamer Guy, I fucking hate Bad Guy, I hate that song so much, the only reason why I did this parody is because of the potential it had to be a good parody, but I don't... F I fucking hate the song. I hate Billie Eilish's music. It's a good one, uh, sort of. I'll, I'll, I'll put it at a B. Oh, this is, this is the first of our, um... This is the first of our, um, songs, but I turn it into a different topic. This was It's Been So Long, but I turned it into the topic of Itadaki Seiki, which is my favorite hentai. And, uh, the first hentai I've ever masturbated to. Uh, honestly, this is, this is, this came out better. But a part that I didn't actually want to do this in the first place is because of the big, uh, paw, or the, the big part where it's just, like, um, where it's just beat or something. It's the da na 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 that part. And a part of me why I don't like doing that is because, well, what the fuck? I don't, I'm not contributing anything to the song at that point. I'm just kind of doing nothing. But otherwise, I really like the song. I'm going to give it an A. All right. Men Cannot Make Babies. This is uh, probably one of my all-time favorite songs I've ever made. Not only is it my favorite song, but it's of probably one of the most memeable topics on my fucking channel to date, which is the Men Cannot Make Babies. If you don't know where that's from, it's from the first ever rant I did on a person named Oliver. And if you want to know, me and Oliver have made amends. We're kind of cool. We don't hate each other anymore. Well, I, I don't... Shut up. <laughs> uh, but me and Oliver has made amends. 
But uh, this song I really like, and it was I did a lot of research apart, uh, about the pregnancy shit and how men cannot make babies and shit like that. It was actually really cool. Uh, I, I think I tried to do this for I think I tried to research it on stream, but I was like, nah, I can't do this. There's the no, there's there's so much graphic images. I'm gonna get banned pretty damn quickly. But I really like the song. It's my favorite song of all time, Stressed Out by 21 Pilots, and it's uh, probably my favorite topic on my channel. Old Clown Road. I did this, which pretty much I'm only friends with one of the people that's in that video now. I just realized. Uh, oh No Random Guy just kind of dipped. Uh, Jack, uh, yeah, fuck Jack. Uh, Nikki, I'm still friends with Nikki, but she's never online. Uh, there's Napoleon. Me and Napoleon are cool. We just don't talk. I think that's about it. Oh, there was also OBS, or no, was he there? I don't think he was in that video. I don't remember who, I don't remember everyone that was in the video, but I'm pretty sure that was them. This video, or this, this, this song is the reason why me and my friends, or old friends, were friends to begin with, because we created this group chat, and we just, fuck it, we just felt like talking. We kept just, we kept talking to each other, and then we became friends. And then I added all my other friends from an older group chat, because I had two group chats that I was active in. And then I just said, fuck it. Let's just combine, let's just make one group chat into a group chat. So then I added all my friends into this group chat, and we all became friends. And then it broke apart a year later. Uh, but despite that, I really like this song. We put a lot of effort into this. This took, like, a day to make because it was difficult, to say the least. Because everyone had to submit their, like, fucking parts. And, it, oh, God, it was difficult. Hey... Uh, Runaway Kitten. The audio was really weird in this video. I don't know why when I was going, run, run, run. I don't know why the, the audio just kind of f was acting very fucking weird on my part. I have no idea why. But, uh, I remember... I like... I love the part where I go, you might as well call me Carson, or you might as well call me Tony Lopez. The, you might as well call me Carson is probably one of my favorite lines I've ever done in, in a parody ever. And... But I do like the song, I love Runaway Baby by Bruno Mars, so I felt like I kind of had to do this anyway. And I was like, yeah, this is this is a solid parody. But there was that fucking part where I, uh, you might, uh, I don't remember, it was at the end. Uh, uh, no, 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 that part, I fucking hated it. So I'm gonna give it a C, I probably would've put it out of a B if it wasn't for me fucking up on that part. Oh, is this, oh, this is, um, uh, this is Camp Lasagna. This was a freestyle. I didn't make any lyrics for this. I fucking freestyled this shit. And I have to give it credit for that. Uh, but this was... This actually wasn't the first uh, parody I've ever made. Uh, the first parody I ever made was deleted, but I actually recovered it. And I'll probably upload that soon. It was uh, a parody of me drinking bleach or something. I don't remember much from it. But uh, despite this being the first one uploaded to my channel, this wasn't the first one I ever did. But this was to my friend, uh, K-Camp. I remember thinking of the lyrics when I was in sixth grade in math class because I was so fucking bored. And when I got home, I was so excited to do this. Uh, this was when me and K-Camp were friends. If you don't know who he is, well, it doesn't really matter now. Uh, but I'll give this a B just because of how I fucking obliterated him with my epic freestyling. Oh, the, uh, send this to your friend you haven't talked to in, like, two months and 17 days. I made this specifically for my friend... That, believe it or not, I hadn't talked to you for two months and 17 days, or however long it was. And then, uh, months later, I found that and deleted it and hope she didn't see it. Uh, but I do like this song a little bit, because this was probably the first song that I made that was all beats. And there was... No, there, no, the, there was, um, fucking Wake Up Call. I didn't add Wake Up Call, God damn it! <laughs> fucking son of a bitch. Yeah, well, I forgot to add Wake Up Call to this list. Um, fuck. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm too lazy to do it now. Eh. Uh, but this song, this was the first one I did that was purely just uh, me going off of just uh, lyrics I wrote, just pure uh, beats, and it, it came out better than expected. I'll give it a C. All right, step but I'm into a song about terrorism. This is an easy S. This is... Definitely my second favorite song, or second favorite parody I've made. I, I, my friend Oof said, hey, you should do this, because uh, for a while I was, uh, I did a community post saying, hey, send me a song, 
and then tell me what I should make the topic about. And that that's actually what uh, the Itadaki Seki was for. There's another one coming up. And he was like, do it this really overly positive song, and then make it about terrorism. And one reason why I love the song so much is the amount of research I did. Because th- I made references from a shit ton of terrorist attacks from a Wikipedia page. And I had to sneak in that 9-11 reference somewhere. I remember like 2,996 people will go down with me and I was like oh I fucking love the song I love the I love the original song too and I ju- I, bu- I just p- prefer the parody I it's just fucking it's a masterpiece the horny side it's getting a D I don't like the song the other side is definitely one of my favorite songs of all time and I fucking hate this parody I did a, I, the, it's supposed to be about a cum god or something convincing a Christian person to masturbate. I love the topic I was going for, but fuck that voice. I did like something like this for the cum god. I'm like, no, please shut up. I don't know why I did this. This what the, what's sad is this was like a recent song too. I made this like a month or two ago and I don't know. I didn't like this at all. Okay. Um. Caramel Dancing, but I made it about war crimes. The reason why I'm going to put this at an A, not an S, because I like the step song a little better than the one about war crimes. I like it a little better. And I don't exactly know why, but there's just something about it that I do, and I can't really place it. But an, but a reason why I like, I, I like this is... um. Honestly, I don't know. I just kind of do. I did a little bit of rapping in it, too. I don't know if it is rap. I, it's not really rapping, but I did I did a little bit. It, it was difficult to... It was difficult to record. I know that. There was a few parts, or there was a part in particular. I don't remember, but that was really difficult to record. I think that was when, like, um, to Asian and... Like, to Asian and some other place will bring our bombs. I think that part was sort of difficult to record for no reason. And then there was also a few others, and I was like, oh, okay. But the product came out really good. Oh, uh, you Elias in the wrong neighborhood. I, This is actually, what's funny is this is actually the second version of that song. So I uh, made an original version that I uploaded, but there was this one lyric. I don't remember what it was, but I didn't like it, so then I ended up removing the entire thing. I re-recorded it uh, with this one new lyric, and I think a lot of people liked it too. Like, this is surprise. like, a lot of people surprisingly like this one, too. I, th- I think, um, like, besides Dear Future Gamer, this is probably one of my most liked parodies of probably all time. It has, like, 200 views, which is amazing. Dear Future Gamer has, like, 700, so this isn't too far, but, I mean, it's, a, you know, it's 500 views. Shut up. I'm gonna put this at S. So, that is my rankings of all the parodies i've made i think uh i want to hear what your opinions are uh this is how many one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen 15, 16, 17. so you may have to listen to 17 shitty songs uh but honestly despite me hating some of them or not hating but despite me disliking some of them uh like the corny side i'm actually glad i made them because it's sort of like a piece of history on my channel which does make me sad to say that I will eventually be abandoning this channel because I cannot live stream. Uh, this does not mean I'll be quitting YouTube. No, I'm going to be uh, going over to my second channel, and that's where I'll be uploading uh, often. The reason why I'm not doing it now is because, well, shit, I don't have my PS4. My PS4 is broken, and until that gets fixed, I'm going to keep uploading to this channel. But this channel will not last forever. I will not be deleting it, of course. I don't want to remove all the history that this channel has to me and my viewers. Especially with such classics like the Jello Book Rant and Dear Future Gamer and the other shitty things I did, like the rants. I'm not going to remove that piece of history from um, me, but uh, I will be abandoning this channel uh, eventually. And I don't know when that's going to be, but it will happen sooner or later. Uh, but anyways, I will see you gamers in the next video, and I will hope that you send me your rankings. I'm going to leave this in the description, so yeah, I'll see you gamers later. Goodbye.